Hey, glad you're up. Russia flexing its muscle now by sending a nuclear message to America. Got a spokeswoman for the Pacific Air Force in Hawaii confirmed that just days ago, two nuclear-armed bombers from Russia circled the U.S. territory of Guam before being intercepted by American military jets. Is this proof that Russia is getting, uh, becoming a greater threat to the U.S. than the administration has led on, known all along but doesn't want to tell us? Bill Gertz, senior editor of the Washington Free Beacon, joins us live from Washington. Bill, what do you read into this? Well, Brian, I think it's pretty clear that, you know, when I asked the uh, Air Force spokeswoman why the Russians were doing this, she told me to ask the Russians, which is kind of a joke. Uh, I think this was clearly a simulated nuclear attack on the United States, and it's not the first time. This is actually the third incident where Russian strategic bombers have come close to U.S. coast. The last one in June was part of a major strategic exercise where a Russian general actually said they were practicing uh, targeting our missile defense bases in uh, Alaska and California. What's our response been? Uh, silence, pretty much. Uh, the administration is trying to salvage their reset policy, which has been a, pretty much of a disaster. It's been totally one way. The U.S. makes concessions, the Russians pocket them, and continue on a more aggressive and more anti-democratic posture. Now, uh, why do you think that is? I mean, it doesn't seem that.